Hello everybody, welcome out to another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing video. Today we're taking a look at Mechanical Beast from Cider Games, designed by Ben Moreta. Uh, maybe this is called Deep Into and Back Out of the Belly of a Huge Mechanical Beast. That, uh, that looks interesting. There's a very striking cover. I remember seeing the Kickstarter of this when uh, it was being covered on crowd surfing. This says back here, does it have a time frame? 20 to 40 minutes, 1 to 4 players, ages 10 plus. Uh, There's a tile laying manipulation puzzle. You will explore in the first part of the game. You, uh, The maze will grow as you explore until you find the off switch. Ooh! The rest of the game, the rooms are collapsing around you, and you must quickly make your way to the exit before the robot locks down, trapping you forever inside its bowels. Mechanical bowels. You can change the layout of the rooms by using gears you find within to help you find an exit. You win by getting everyone, including the people you find, trapped within and your trusted android out of the beast. The real friends we made were the androids along the way. Uh, the game can be played solo, co-op, or competitive. What? That sounded, <laughs> that sounded really cooperative to me. Um, okay. Well, anyway, here's the entrance style, and then you find stuff. It kind of sounds like it has an arc similar to... Uh, what is that game that Z always prattles on about? The Subterra. Sounds uh, a little bit Subterra-ish. Rules here on the bottom of the box. And... Secrets. <gasps> Secrets! It must be invisible ink. I'll have to burn this later to read its message. Or it's just packing material to keep the rulebook safe. All right, so what's going on in this one? I like the little meeples, and I like the look of these tiles and stuff, but uh, the creature was everything humanity hoped for, a sentient, self-improving robot with the capacity to build new modules. Uh, that's a lot of lore. So anyway, go into the beast and uh, rescue your way out. So you stack the deck. You stack it with... Oh, okay, so you're... You kind of have an idea of how far down you need to go to find the different parts of it. Oh, it comes with the tile tower. That's cool. I'm sure that the tile tower has to be assembled, assembled every time because this box is not very big, which, you know, uh, hey, I'm always encouraging of small boxes. Building and unbuilding stuff, though, is its own annoyance. Hey, look, there's the android that you can rescue along the way. Let me zoom in just a little bit here on the rule book uh, as we flip through its pages. So on your turn, you can move your engineer or the android, any number of rooms, uh, and then you can perform actions in those rooms. You can move, you can explore, fun. You can explore room with people. Gear activation allows you to rotate the tiles around you. This, this does worry me a little bit because you might have to be picking up a lot of tiles and, and manipulating that. Hopefully these are going to be thicker tiles so that it's not annoying to pick them up and stuff all the time. So different types of gears are going to allow you to manipulate the puzzle of the rooms in different ways. Eventually, Meeple will discover the control room, which contains the off switch. There you go. At that point, stuff is going to collapse, and you got to get your way out. Yeah, that sounds good. Where's the... Okay, so what's going on here? So the end of the game, either get out or you don't, kind of thing. Semi-co-op variant. That's the... Wait, no, this is a competitive variant. So it's cooperative basic play. It's cooperative. I'm going to call this a cooperative game in my own head just to give myself peace so I can sleep at night, darn it. But the semi-cooperative variant, uh, even after the beast starts collapsing, players can choose to go back to the beast after reaching the entrance or exit tile to take a chance to discover and rescue more people. But if they're trapped, all players lose. Semi-co- I'm confused how this is a semi-co- Okay, I guess Oh, highest number of people tokens in the win ends. You can change the difficulty. But then there's the competitive variant here. Continued on the back. Okay, so it's more than just this. And so, um, you change the setup, blah, blah, blah. End of the game. The game ends when every engineer is trapped without possibilities of escape. In, in this case, all players lose the game. Likewise, if the emergency ticket room collapses, everybody loses. This sounds like a semi-co-op. But if you get both your engineers to the emergency exit, the game also ends and you win the game. All right, so fine. I'm playing this as a cooperative game. Is, what, is my takeaway from reading these rules. But hey, maybe someone will tell me that it's really great the other way is around, that I will probably not play the semi-co-op. So this is the back of the room tiles here, and you can see that they have different functions. The cardboard is 
you know, it's, it's a reasonable thickness. I don't know the micron count and the millimeters and stuff, but like I said, the, it's just the picking up and rotating constantly, especially with multiple tiles around one that I would be a, a bit concerned about. It looks like there's different combinations of doorways and different types of arrows and orientations and rotations and stuff there. These ones have some little symbols on them, you can see. I'm guessing people that you rescue. Here's the gears. That looks like that's going to be what rotates it. The mechanical beast. This here looks like the tower, the tile tower. Uh, that's a cool looking tile tower. I won't disagree with how neat it looks, just the assembling and descent. Well, maybe, maybe it's not that big. Maybe it will fit in here, actually. Maybe that's what this is part of. You know, if I were smarter, I could actually know these things ahead of time, but I'm just kidding. We don't actually research things before we do an unboxing. We're just looking at them for the first time, same as you all. Um, hey, what do we got here? We got people. Ooh. Little screen printed bits. I like that. That looks really good. He's wearing a tie. He's wearing a shirt. Ooh, ruffle. Oh, come on. Focus up, camera. I like the detail on that one. This fella here has a mohawk and a badge. Okay. I think uh, this is going to be the last color of a person that you can rescue. They're wearing a uh, loincloth or a tummy tummy shaper. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is uh, exactly there. Well, you got some Android going on here, and then you have two engineers of each color. They're screen printed on one side, it looks like. Okay, that's fine. I mean, you got the green, you got the pink, yellow, and the blue engineers. I do like the screen printing. That looks, that looks pretty good. This is a better version of a meeple that I, I tend to like. It has these ones I enjoy because they're very minimalist, and these ones aren't uh, hyper-detailed, and they're not really, like, weird and disproportionate. So there you go. That's a look inside of here. Deep into and back out of the belly of a huge mechanical beast. Thank you for coming by another Dice Tower daily unboxing video. My name is Chris Yee. I hope you have yourselves a fantastic day.